in those games. Joined now by Stephen A. Smith. And Stephen A., after game five, Tim Legler was screaming about it. I was screaming about it to you. You were screaming about it back to me. Clay Thompson's got to get shots. How pivotal was he tonight in, uh, in getting Golden State back to Houston for a game seven? Well, he was everything tonight. First of all, Kevin Durant still is struggling to find his stroke. Even though we have to commend him, he had four assists, which is four more than what he's had combined in the assist department in the previous two games combined. Steph Curry got going as well. But the big thing about Clay is that he's a marksman, man. We talk so much about Steph Curry being the greatest shooter in the world. Clay Thompson ain't far behind. Remember, this is the guy that beat Steph Curry in yep. a three-point shooting contest a few years ago for All-Star Weekend. This dude is a marksman extraordinaire. He showed up after combining with Steph Curry to shoot three at 13 from three in the first half they finished 14 of 28 they hit 11 of 15 in the second half clay thompson had 18 shots in game one up until today tonight rather he never shot more than 14 times in the next four games that cannot happen clay thompson is that pivotal that important that instrumental to the success of the golden state warriors and when you get him the ball he has proven to you that good things happen this is what steve kerr needed to do tonight he did it that's why they won game six yeah he's the ultimate fire starter on this team and steve kerr has called kevin durant the ultimate luxury but Stephen a i ask you can can golden state win on the road if kevin durant continues to struggle six of 17 tonight if he's that if he's ordinary do you think they win game seven you know what? They can if you make sure that Klay Thompson gets 23 shots like he did tonight, <laughs> right. along with Steph Curry. That's the thing. It can't be Kevin Durant is struggling, but Swaggy P, Nick Young, or Jordan <laughs> Bell, or right. somebody are shooting those shots. But if Kevin Durant isn't shooting the ball, but Klay Thompson is, you'll be fine. Trust me. Yeah, well, I, well I, I agree. I just Kevin Durant's in a really interesting place right now, given the way these last few games have gone. And I'm really curious, Stephen A., about Game 7. I just mentioned the officiating moments ago when we started the show. Houston didn't lose this game because of the officials. But it's no doubt that Golden State was more physical with him. And how he is officiated in Game 7, I think, is, is hugely important. I'm, you can't have you don't have a crystal ball, but do you share the same feeling I do that if he is uh, if Golden State's allowed to be rugged with him the way they were, that that's bad, bad news for Houston? I don't, think, I don't think you have to worry about that in Game 7. Here's why. What happened in Game 6 was that CP3 was out. Right. So because CP3 was out, essentially James Harden was your lone ball handler. So what Golden State did was get physical with him, trap him, and do everything it could to get the ball out of his hands, whether it was trapping him or being with him one-on-one -on -one and waiting for him to drive into the lane and then collapsing on him. Because what happens is all of a sudden P.J. Tucker, Trevor Ariza, Eric Gordon, even to a lesser degree, Clint Capella found themselves with the ball in their hands, having to dribble the basketball. And no, that's not their M.O. That's not where they excel. This is what Golden State knew it had available to it tonight, which was why they played the way that they played. They never try to be that aggressive with CP3 out there because James Harden would therefore be able to concentrate on other responsibilities like scoring instead of trying to be a point guard, running the team, and obviously because CP3 would be out there with them, knowing how to control plays, dictate to Tempo, et cetera, you wouldn't be able to get away with the same level of aggression with CP3 on the court with them. Golden State got away with it tonight because CP3 didn't play. They won't even attempt that in Game 7 because there's no way they would get away with it with CP3 on the floor. That's not going to happen. All right, I'm going to find out where you're going to be in Houston. I'm going to get the address, and from the Midnight Sports Center, we're going to send a care package, Stephen A. Swedish Fish, Crunch and Munch, the whole nine yards. With two Game 7s, I want to make sure you are well, well stocked for your treats because we're going to need you at 1,000%, at okay? I've cut back on both, but I'm not going to turn down the Crunch and Bunch and the Sweetest Fish. Even though my man Mike Wilbon is not, he's not going to admit it, he's going to help me eat those things. All right, he's well, going to help me eat. From the Midnight Sports Center, we're gonna, I got a care package coming your way. Travel safe. We'll talk soon, all right? All right, buddy. Thanks a lot. You got it.